majority of leprosy cases can be diagnosed clinically just by finding the cardinal signs. These cardinal signs are unique in leprosy and not present in any other disease. Hence, the confirmation of diagnosis may depend on clinically eliciting these cardinal signs. Only in a small proportion of cases, a skin smear examination will be required to confirm the diagnosis. These cardinal signs are pale or reddish patches on the skin with definite loss of sensation, involvement of the nerves shown by enlargement and loss of feeling. The presence of leprosy bacilli in the skin smear. It is widely accepted that one cardinal sign is enough and necessary to confirm the diagnosis leprosy. Take relevant history of the disease. Allow yourself plenty of time to talk to patients. They are the people who know their body best. How long has the skin patch been there? How did it start? Has it changed? Leprosy patches usually appear slowly. How to examine a person? The person should undress. Examination must be done in good daylight with sufficient privacy as the covered parts must be inspected as well. Allow yourself enough room so that the examination can be carried out in a few minutes only. Later evaluation and recording, especially if more pathology is detected, may take longer. In this lip clip, the demonstration is often limited to one side, but of course, always the left and the right side must be examined. Hence, differences can be noticed. As always, we start with a thorough inspection of the body. Look for patch on the skin, enlarged nerves, loss of nerve function, damage to eyes or soft tissues. A thickened auricular nerve looks like a pencil on the side of neck. Close inspection of the eyes to see cornea, sclera, lid cap. Observe eyes from below to see lid cap if any. Now we proceed with palpation of the nerve trunks. As a routine, we compare the left and the right side during all examinations. The second cardinal sign is especially important for all proportion of cases who do not have patches. This sign concerns the trunk nerves. Trunk nerve cannot be seen and have to be palpated. The cutaneous nerves may be visible but are not included as cardinal sign. Here you need to palpate the nerves and if thickened, a sensory test is to be performed over the skin supplied by that nerve. You can see where the nerve trunks can be palpated. Sensory test of hand or foot is shown in more detail in another lip clip. Leprosy bacilli seen by microscope is the third cardinal sign. Few cases may neither have an aesthetic patches nor thickened nerves. In such cases, a skin smear helps in confirmation of the diagnosis or to rule out leprosy. A skin smear test is useful to confirm cases when it is difficult to be sure of your diagnosis on clinical grounds alone. For example, if there is thickening or lumps or nodules on skin but no anesthesia or patches. Many leprosy bacilli are visible here as red rods alone and in clusters. Some are indicated with an arrow. Examine to diagnose leprosy. Always remember taking into account the history of persons being examined. Inspection of skin for patch, nodule or thickening of nerve. Inspection of eye for redness, lid cap or other changes. Sensory test on nerve and patch areas. Palpation of nerves for thickening, consistency and tenderness. 
voluntary muscle testing. A majority of leprosy cases can be diagnosed clinically by eliciting the cardinal signs. Three cardinal signs are pale or reddish patch on the skin with definite loss of sensation, involvement of nerves shown by enlargement and loss of sensation, presence of leprosy bacilli and skin smear. It is widely accepted that one cardinal sign is enough and necessary to confirm diagnosis of leprosy.